Hello everyone, I'm Akif and I'm doing a short video on what is Contigi operating system and what is special about UIP. So Contigi operating system has the features of any commonly used operating system. But it was designed for a specific purpose and the purpose was to make it work with Internet of Things. And we know in Internet of Things the devices that are at the heart of it are low power and constrained devices which include uh, micro low power uh, low power microcontrollers and wireless sensor network devices like the smart dust so apart from having the features like being uh, highly portable and being multitasking operating system it has got some other new features which separates it from the rest and these features are the communication components like uh, micro IP or UIP and six low pan so what is micro IP or UIP uh, we know in the TCP IP protocol that we use in our day-to-day -day networking these days uh, is a very uh, uh, it, uh, it uh, consumes a lot of resources and we know these small devices these uh, low power and constraint devices on the IOT uh, they don't have uh, the capability to implement the TCP IP protocol uh, because of the limitation of the resources. So uh, to allow that to happen, to make uh, the TCP IP protocol work somehow on these uh, low power and constraint devices, uh, they removed some components but kept some essential components. So in a way uh, they incorporated minimal minimal set of components and they called that version of TCP IP protocol as micro IP so this uh, micro IP uh, protocol stack worked quite well with the 8-bit and 16-bit microcontrollers and that uh, protocol stack included some of the essential protocols like TCP UDP and ICMP protocols in its network layer now, if, even if you look at the amount of memory this uh, micro IP code consumes, it's just few kilobytes, and the RAM requirements is just few hundred bytes. Now, we know that in the TCP IP protocol, uh, the IP protocol which we have in the network layer, it has got two versions. One is IPv4 version, and another version is the IPv6 version. And uh, IPv6 version was the only good choice for uh, Internet of Things because we will have billions of devices, 100 billion devices or even 200 billion devices in coming future. But the uh, addressing space for IPv4 is nearly 4 billion. So that won't work quite well with uh, these hu uh, large number of uh, IoT devices which will be uh, in uh, billions so they came up with IPv6 uh, but uh, the, in the miniaturized version of the uh, IP protocol which we call as micro IP we have this version called micro IPv6 and it was the smallest certified IPv stack IPv6 stack uh, it is currently a part of Contigi and for the first time it was developed by Cisco and currently it's being used uh, in thousands of projects all over the world now if you don't understand what IPv6 is you can refer to my video I have made a separate short video on what IPv6 stack is and how there was a transition uh, possible from IPv4 to IPv6 then comes the another communication component which is 6 low pan so what does 6 low pan mean 6 low pan is IPv6 or low power uh, and wireless personal area network so when people try to implement IPv6 over these low power constraint devices which in uh, uh, IEEE world is also referred to as IEEE 802.15.4 uh, in its uh, f uh, physical in its back layer we have this uh, challenge and the challenge was that it has each Mac layer sets a limitation for its frame or the amount of data it allows and the Mac layer uh, in this case allowed only 127 bytes Th then came another challenge which was 
uh, from the networking layer. The IPv6 uh, protocol allowed the uh, minimum value of the maximum transmission unit was 1280 bytes. So this is only the minimum value. We are not even talking about the maximum value. So we couldn't place uh, something which was 1280 bytes on 127 bytes. And out of those 127 bytes, a part is used for header and a part is used for payload. So we don't even get 127 uh, bytes we get something less than that we it may be 80 bytes so we can't place 1280 bytes in eight, uh, 80 bytes for that they came up with this adaptation layer which comes in between the uh, physical layer uh, sorry data link layer and the uh, networking layer so in a way they break these components uh, that come from the networking layer and after breaking them that they allow that to pass to the data link layer uh, if you want to know more about six low pan we have made a separate video on that uh, and we have even done some kuja simulation uh, in that video so that was all have a nice day